Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're Nick and Anna, digital nomads from the States who left and have been traveling full time trying to see the whole world. If you enjoy our content, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. This week, we did a group trip with some friends to Bali and we're gonna be exploring some of the temples, hanging out with some monkeys and doing a coffee workshop. So it's 6.30 in the morning and my husband told me to show my personality. Are you done getting ready yet? Almost. Okay, cause we've been up since four. We've been up since four. We're in Bali right now, but we're clearly jet lagged and we've been up for a couple of hours. Now we're finally gonna go ahead to breakfast and um, my husband was really adamant on getting up super early and surprise, surprise, who's still getting ready? We got up at 4 a.m., so. Okay. Yeah, well, you're, you're being a late bird right now because you're taking forever to get ready. How do you feel about this bathroom situation? <laughs> Let's go to breakfast. Let's go. We've been waiting on you. <laughs> okay, I want to show you this stuff really quickly, but we're running really late. Oh, it's already 8.30. 8.30, oh my god. I'm taking forever. Again. <laughs> Our first stop was to Gunung Kauai, which is a temple that dates back to the 11th century. There's a ton of stairs to head down to the bottom, but once we are there, we were amazed at what we found. As this was a Balinese temple, we had to wear traditional sarongs while inside. Thankfully, we were given these and we didn't have to bring our own. The statues here are huge and truly awe-inspiring. I didn't think it really hit us until we were here how beautiful Bali was going to be. Since we were at the bottom, of course, we had to make our way back up to the top. You gotta be careful, bro. Almost fell. We're good. <laughs> Yay, stairs. Okay, we're about to climb some stairs to go back up to the swing. Let's do it. We 
want to swing? <laughs> so I decided to do the swing, even though it has been exclusively a females only activity thus far. When I get, you know, what do you think? When I get up there, do you think I should just swing? I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I was not feeling the swing, as you can see. The look of pure fear on my face here. On dry land. How you feel? We hopped back in our bus and headed to our next temple, the Turta Empul Temple. That's how bad it smells. They won't let you bring it in. It's the one that smells bad, right? Yeah. No, I was saying this tree looks like the one in the gardens in Cape Town. But you know how they have like plants from different countries in there? Mm -hmm. Obviously. Now you see it in the country where it's from. Again, we were given sarongs to enter this sacred place. Okay. Do you need some help? Hmm? You need some help? <laughs> Here, let me, here, here, let me help you. Here. Oh no, you need help. Looks nice. Fashion. Fashion. People come here from all around the world for ritual purifying in the waters here. It's believed that the sacred spring water possesses healing and purifying properties. Look at all them chickens. Our next day, we went to the famous Canto Lampo waterfall to take some pictures. But at this point, we weren't really feeling 100%. We weren't really feeling that good, so we decided not to go in. But from what we gathered just by watching folks, here are some do's and don'ts. You do want to respect the environment. You want to keep the area clean and dispose of your trash responsibly. You do want to swim safely, obviously enjoy a dip in the pool, but those rocks can be very slippery. And then take your photos responsibly. You know, feel free to capture some of the beauty of this waterfall, but be mindful of the other visitors as well. Some of the don'ts, don't litter. This should be obvious, carry your trash with you until you find a trash can, duh. Don't vandalize, again, this should be a no-brainer. Don't carve your initials or any graffiti on the rocks or trees or anything. And then finally, don't disturb the wildlife because it is just that, wildlife. You are not in a zoo. Follow these and you're going to have a great time here. Okay. So today is day two in Bali. Today we're at the Monkey Forest. I'm very excited, but I'm also very nervous. Um, I saw when we were in here a little bit earlier, a girl in our group had monkeys climbing on her. Makes me a little nervous. I'm really, really hoping that one does not climb on me. Like, genuinely, I'm, I'm actually very nervous about it. The Monkey Forest was an amazing walk through nature as soon as we walked in. Obviously, walking amongst the monkeys, we acted as though we were guests in their home. It was really wild. Dude, this is crazy. They're like right here. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this guy.
We spent a good solid few hours here and it was relatively cheap at around $3 per person to enter. It was easily one of the most memorable attractions in Ubud. This was don't make eye contact, so I'm just like. Excuse me, sir. The other thing they told us when they came in here was use your glasses, watch your phones and your bags and everything because they will come up and steal it. There's some like right on the other side. Oh god. So I don't have my glasses on because I didn't want them to get stolen. So that one was holding a water bottle and then like that store guy like took a corn of beer and like tossed the corn of ear at the monkey and the monkey dropped the water bottle and got it <laughs> This is wild. This is absolutely wild. Next, we headed to the Cinnamon Coffee Studio to learn about coffee and how to make our own pour overs. This was something fun that was a little different from the temples and traditional Balinese tours that we were doing. But by the time that we were done here, we were zooming off the walls from all of the coffee that we had. There were so many different styles and tastes of coffee here, there was no way we were going to be able to try them all. But sometimes you need something like this that's a little different from the day's activities to shake things up. Now we've still got a few days left in Bali and we've got plenty more to share with you, so hit subscribe so you don't miss anything and we'll see you next time.